I let all my anger out a few days ago in that Baltimore game. We had the day off. Uh, well, the finale was rained out and rescheduled. And the scheduled off day yesterday. Start the home set against the Cleveland Guardians tonight. A Rogers Center three-game set. You knew their pitching lineup was going to look pretty good. Right? You had Quantrill today. Tristan McKenzie tomorrow. Shane Bieber in the finale. So you knew that was going to be difficult. Did not expect an 8 nothing walloping tonight. Cleveland has now won six straight games. With Baltimore now winning, both teams are only one loss behind the Toronto Blue Jays. And Jose Barrios, the talk of the year has been his home road splits have been so bad. You could also look at his numbers and say, well, he either gives you a really good start, a start or it's really bad. You know, he won't go five innings allowing three earned runs or four earned runs. You don't see that from Jose. Either he gives you six innings of one run ball or two run ball, or he goes today where he goes four innings and allows eight runs. And what's even more crazy about this game is he got the first seven guys out. Three up, three down first. Three up, three down second. Gets the first guy in the third inning. Then hits Austin Hedges, and the wheels fall off. Gives a two-run single to Ahmed Rosario. Benson and Hedges score. Her, uh, the Jose Ramirez hits a sack fly. Stephen Kwan scores. And Josh Naylor hits a two-run shot. Ahmed Rosario scores. And just like that, you're done 5 nothing in the third. After it looked like Jose Barrios would continue his home road split craziness. I don't know what else to say. Because the offense was awful today. Three hits. And one of which was uh, Brett, Jackie Bradley Jr. In the ninth inning. I believe in the eighth inning, Kevin Biggio had a single. There's one hit through the first seven. People are going to be like, whoa, well, Cal Quadra pitched well. I don't, look, like, we're supposed to be one of the prolific lineups. I hate when people use the stat. Well, the Jays have one of the best line, best, you know, there's offensive numbers in baseball. They scored second most runs in the big leagues. That's all sexy and all when you're scoring 28 runs in the game or nine in a game. But this team really just goes on one side of the spectrum or not. Like it's either they either score 10 runs and they're looking great, or they score one, or in this case, zero, and look awful. And Barrios goes back out there for the fourth inning because you need him to go back out there. But then Jose Ramirez tattoos him for a three-run shot. Quan and Benson score. And it's 8 nothing. Jose Barrios goes four innings, allows eight hits, eight runs, strikes out one guy, walks two, and gives up two home runs. Like, I'm, I, I, it just, it's, it's baffling me how a guy of his caliber can dominate, I wouldn't say dominate the league, but be a very good starting pitcher in this league for as long as he has been. And even last year, his numbers with the Blue Jays coincided with his numbers all through his Twins career. And then this season, he's just been awful. Like the walk numbers are up. The strikeout numbers are way down. The home run numbers, I assume, are up. And we all know the earned run average is basically two full points and more higher than it usually is. I don't know what has happened to Jose Barrios. People will be like, well, you know, a, this pitch, he's not throwing his curveball. I, know, I get that part. But what has happened to Jose Barrios? You're going to have times where you don't pitch well. But his numbers suggested that he's just a great pitcher all around. This season, you're not seeing that. It's remarkably awful to witness right now. And I could sit here and talk about Barrios all night long because really that was the talking point of today's game. The team had eight, uh, sorry, three hits, didn't walk at all, and struck out eight times. So as bad as Jose Barrios was, the approaches at the plate were nowhere to be found. The Blue Jays are now two and six 
in their last eight games. And they're playing pretty bad baseball. The bullpen looked good today. Problem is, you were down 8 nothing when any bullpen guy got in the game. Zach Pop was first up. He went a clean inning, allowed one hit, and that was it. Trevor Richards went an inning, walked the batter, but struck out two. Nothing doing there. Tre uh, Trent Thornton went a clean inning, allowed a couple hits, got a strikeout, but no runs cross. Uh, Adam Zimmer went an inning, allowed one hit, that was it. David Phelps went an inning, allowed a couple hits, didn't allow a run. So your bullpen gave you five clean inning work, right? Clean, clean innings, didn't allow any runs to cross. The problem was, Jose Barrios was really bad, and your offense didn't get anything going at all. The only positive, I guess there's a couple, that you can take from a loss like this offensively, and it's really not much, is Vladdy keeping the history going, and Jackie Bradley Jr. getting his first hit as a Blue Jay. That's all I got. Do I see a light at the end of the tunnel? I sure hope so. But I don't really see anything right now that suggests this team is coming out of a slump. Because they don't look like they're ready to win. You know, the body language ain't there. And yeah, all well, the having fun, this, having fun. Look, you gotta have fun. But you know what else is fun? Winning ball games. And that's when this team, that's when this fan base is at their best, is when we're ready winning ball games. Not, it's not gonna get any easier for the Toronto Blue Jays this series. Heck, Mitch White takes the ball for the Jays tomorrow. Nothing against the guy, but he's not on a race. And he's going up against Tristan McKenzie, who's a damn good pitcher. Again, you saw Quantrill today. He was great. You had to see Tristan McKenzie, McKenzie tomorrow at 307 at Rogers Center. I got nothing else to say, guys. I lost my mind in that Orioles game. No point in me doing it again. Because nothing changes. At least lately, nothing's changed. Barrios has still been terrible. I love the guy. I will always have faith in him because, because as what, as what, he, what we saw him do as a Blue Jay in his first half year. And the entire career in Minnesota. You know it's there. But he's not executing his pitches. And that's, that's the end all and be all of Jose Barrios. If that slider and, and all his different moving sliders are not working. And it's either not competitive pitch or it's a hanger. There's really no in-between. And that's where he needs to live. That in-between. That, you know, competitive pitch, but not a strike. But it's a, it, it, it's a strike to ball, break and ball, to the point where they swing over top. And when that's happening, that makes everything else better in his arsenal. Because they have to adjust. They have to be aware of that pitch coming for strikes. But it has been there. And when he has been throwing it for strikes, it's getting demolished. Because it's not a quality strike. That's all I got to say, Jays fans. You know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and uh, not the game, but if you're a Cleveland Guardians fan and you love the game today, uh, smack the like button. Do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not already comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. Would you like? Would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays? There's a lot to not like and there's very minimal to like. Uh, let me know in the comments. Twitter link is down below, so follow up, send me a DM to that great stuff. The Instagram link is also down below, so follow up there if you guys have not done so already. I will talk to you guys, of course, tomorrow afternoon. Jays, uh, Guardians, almost said Indians, Guardians, 307, first pitch there, Rogers, and Tristan McKenzie gets the ball for the Guardians, and Mitch White takes the ball for the Jays. What are we going to see? Nah, I got no idea. All right, so thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and not the game today. We'll talk to you guys then.